It's been a month since my last software update video. Today I have the new system update 2022.44.2. This includes two new features and an additional three undocumented changes this time. I received the alert of the new update on my phone around 12.50 p.m. on Wednesday, December 7th. Sorry I've been really busy and couldn't get to doing this video until the weekend. I'll update it now and see what I get. As I usually do, the first thing I cover is the release notes page. If you happen to skip it, you can find it again by tapping the control button, software, and then scroll down until you see the release notes button on the right side of the screen. Press it and you have a listing of the changes for this update. First up, we have camera-based detection. When the camera-based detection is enabled, sentry mode will use the vehicle's external cameras in addition to the vehicle's sensors to detect a security event while parked. If disabled, the vehicle will only save clips to the USB drive if a physical threat is detected. I'll test that now by going into Controls, Safety, Sentry mode, and then you can see the switch right here for camera-based detection. This new addition will most likely be useful for people that experience a high degree of false alarms with their sentry cam. This will only save the video when the car is actually touched roughly and not by someone just walking within a few feet of the car. Next up, we have new language support. You can now select Thai as your touchscreen language. To update your language settings, tap Controls, Display, and select your preferred language from the touchscreen language drop-down menu. And that's it for the two documented changes. The first undocumented addition is battery temperature. Your vehicle will now display additional information about the battery in certain situations. An icon will appear at the top of the display next to your charging details. Tapping the icon will take you to the charging screen which will provide additional information, such as the charging rate being limited due to the battery's temperature. I couldn't get this to show up on my car during a regular level 2 or AC charging at home, but I will see if it occurs at a supercharger or CCS charger during the next few months as the weather gets colder. Next we have service mode enhancement. Service mode, a dedicated area for service centers and technicians to troubleshoot and make changes to the vehicle, has a new mode to view information about the heat pump and its various components. You can now view detailed information about the heat pump's refrigerant, its flow, suction, and mechanical parts involved such as the compressor and valves. I'm going to have a more in-depth service menu video at some point and I'll cover it in more detail. Note, however, that entering the service menu is not for the timid and it can cause issues with the car if you are not careful. And that's a warning. And finally, but most importantly, we have the fifth change, manual climate and auto seats. When Tesla's climate system is set to auto, it gives you the ability to let the vehicle control the temperature of your seats as well. However, if you change the HVAC system to manual, then you'd lose the ability to keep your seat heaters on auto. With this update, you now have the ability to have the climate system on manual while keeping the seat heaters set to auto. I personally keep my HVAC in manual mode, so this update is greatly appreciated. For the last couple days of use, the seat heaters ramp up or down based on the temperature. I figure it's a combination of the exterior ambient temperature along with the inside HVAC heat settings. I'll have to play around to see exactly how it works. There is one additional change that I didn't include that regards the SOS button. In markets outside of the US, Tesla supports emergency vehicle services through the SOS standard and Tesla has historically provided a physical button near the vehicle's hazard light switch. Newer vehicles replace the physical SOS button with an on-screen only button. Previously, the on-screen button was not displayed on vehicles that included the physical button. However, with this update, it's now displayed on the vehicle where Tesla supports vehicle SOS. So in conclusion, after one month, we get some more updates. 
Honestly, the only one that I really appreciate is the auto seat heater on manual HVAC. The next update is the highly anticipated holiday update, which should be arriving in the next week or two. There should be a lot to cover with that one, so stay tuned. Well, that wraps up this episode of System Update 2022.44.2. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.